I want to make sure we we switch gears over here to the Luca and Trey Young trade because this is one that I was excited for. You know, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Dallas Mavericks after this, but revisiting this trade, it's going down as one of the most win-win trades of all time. Everybody brings that up because hey, you traded Luka Doncic for another All Star and Trey Young plus a draft pick. Uh, but Malik, I want to kick this one off with you because I think you have a, a pretty strong opinion on this one. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I'll kick this one off with you. What are you asking me? Was the draft trade between Luca and Trey a? a it was it a robbery or was it actually a win? I mean, Luca is on a different planet than Trey mm. Young. He elevates yep. the players around him. If you put Luca on the on the Atlanta Hawks, the sky is the limit. You know, the sky is the is is, is the limit, so to speak. I mean, you talk about John Collins. You talk about Clint mm -hmm. Capella. I mean, right now he's working with Dorian Finney-Smith. John Collins is an upgrade over Dorian Finney-Smith. We can all agree that. Uh, the yeah. Dwight Powell, Clint Capella is an upgrade over Dwight Powell. Onyeka Onkongu is an upgrade yeah. over Dwight Powell. I mean, that, I mean, these are like they have two starting caliber centers on the Atlanta Hawks, right? And Trey, I mean, they both suck defensively speaking. But we're, if we're talking about making the teammates around them better from an offensive standpoint, meaning creating shots and getting guys open and also being able to formulate their own offense, yeah, Luka Doncic is on a different planet. Well, look, here's where I agree with you, Malik. I mean, not only, you know, Lucas is better defensively, not great, but he is better. And offensively, Trey Young is fantastic. One of the best passers, playmakers in the NBA. But I will gladly take a star player, send a, you know, add on just a first round pick to get arguably the best player in the NBA. And a guy who's going to be the face of the league, whatever you want to say, the best player in the league for years upon years upon years to come and go down as an all-time great. I will gladly throw in a first-round pick to upgrade to that. No disrespect to Trey Young, but I don't view this as some win-win trade. I think, look, the Dallas Mavericks won the trade. The Hawks, it wasn't a huge loss. He still got an all-star, but it, it, they lost the deal. You want Luka Doncic. But but to say it's a robbery is is, is not is not true because it's for me it's a win-win because the Hawks, organization is doing well the ox organization has a face of its franchise that doesn't mean that luka Doncic on their team wouldn't be better i think luka on that team would arguably be you know competing for the eastern conference finals maybe even in the finals that's not saying that luka isn't better but to say that the 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 hawks lost because they have a, a, a star and trey young and, damn, and that damn, they did damn, 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 damn let me break it down for you real quick simple as this you look out, look at the supporting cast that Trey Young has, right? We, we all watch basketball here, we know. You look at the supporting cast Luka Doncic has, right? Where he's playing with the likes of Spencer Dinwiddie. Jalen Brunson, who's good. I like Spencer Dinwiddie too, but Spencer Dinwiddie, okay? Right? You look at Trey Young, he got certified shooters around him and Kevin Herter and Bogdan bon, uh, Bogdanovich or whatever the hell his, 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 his name is. Even their bench, right? I'm just saying. Like, can you clearly look at the camera and say that if Trey Young is on the Dallas Mavericks, hold, I don't need you shaking your head. I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. If Trey Young is on the Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic is on the Atlanta Hawks, how far do the Atlanta Hawks go? Because I'm confident, Trey, I'm, I'm confident that Luka Doncic will be the same player, if not better, depending on where his supporting cast is. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying – I'm not even – I don't. who cares if it's a robbery, it's a law. The fact of the matter is the, the Mavericks won this trade. Yes. And, you're, and yep. your argument, Daniel, is, oh, well, they're they're in a good standing. Their organization in a good standing. Okay. Well, the expectation should be much higher for the Atlanta Hawks than they are for the Dallas Mavericks. I'm they surprised didn't make the Hawks Mavericks year? made it. Yeah. Huh? They the made Hawks the playoffs did, yeah. year, right? The Hawks made the playoffs, but what, what did they – did they lose the first round to the Heat? Exactly. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, and, and listen, there's no shame to lose to the Heat. The Heat, look, like the Heat were just in the in the conference finals. I'm just, for the way I see it, I think that Luca elevates talent around him, as we as you can see, on the Dallas Mavericks, and I just think that the talent that the Hawks currently have is better than the than the Dallas Mavericks. So, could you imagine Luka Doncic playing with this supporting cast? Dean yeah. has a valid no point. Brainer. They all did regress, but at the same time, it's still better. So I agree. I agree with both sides. Like, yes, they regress, but the supporting cast around Trey Young is still better than. Gives a damn. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they regressed and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's like, like, look. The fact of the matter is, all I'm saying is, I still think they're reg the regressed version of John Collins. Yes, absolutely. And the supporting cast of Miami Heat is better than the current crop yeah. at their best of the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, and I don't yes. think that's a hot take. 
and I'm, right. not in the, I'm not in the business so, of making hot takes for that. So what I want to point out really fast, I don't really have – I think it's a, not a fair trade. I think the Mavs slightly won. Uh, I wouldn't call it a robbery. Uh, but just so, just so statistically in the regular season, the player with the most time of possession, meaning ball in their hands in the NBA, was Luka Doncic. He was first. And then third in the NBA was Trey Young, which is in the same range. Then you look at assist – Per game, Trey Young with 9.7, Luca with 8.7 points per game, both of them with 28.4. The, the stats tell you. Also, I think it's also fair to say that uh, we, so we have to, context matters. Luca was injured in the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Luca missed yeah. a lot of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also, Trey Young shot 6% better from the field than Luca did. So it's, you know, take take that as you want. I think I think the Mavs won. I'm not pretending like the Mavs didn't win. I just don't want to pretend like it was an absolute fleece. I think it I mean, was. You just look at where the organizations are. Well, the, the Hawks just went to a conference finals. What, the year the year before? It was like, yeah. I don't know why that. They made it too. And what did they do this year? They regressed. Yeah. Nothing. Not, the I, Mavs, I still think they're fine, though. Trae Young, I don't yeah. just get curious. So, Trey, you, you, you up there rolling your eyes and disagreeing, and oh, my God, every time I say something. We, we, what's up, brother? What's up, brother? You oh. still you still upset with me about that Bam out of biotech or what? Yes, <laughs> but no, I, I I'm moving past that. Um, I so hope so. Thing. Right now, I just feel like this is. Uh, I know it's fun. We always come up with these conversations, and you know, but I I, I think there's a couple of factors that we, that got to play into this. Number one, uh, as it stands right now, um, Luka Doncic is the slightly better player. I, th- I actually think I know you guys think that I am harping on Luka Doncic, and I go really really hard on Luka Doncic. Please don't get me wrong. I'm in agreement with y'all. Luka Doncic, everything on paper screams that Luka Doncic will not only be the face of the NBA, but he will easily be the best friend in the NBA in due time. I still think he is not. I think you guys are elevating him a couple of, of seasons early. Now, with that being said, I think Don brought up a great point. The difference between Trey Young and Luka Doncic is, is, very, is, is not that wide, okay? Luka Doncic is, I think, Trey Young is as good of a passer as Luka Doncic. Yes. And I think the difference between that Don the difference between Doncic and Trey Young is right now, Doncic is the more aggressive scorer, and Doncic, I think, is the better natural scorer. You can say that for a, a ton of reasons. One could be the fact that to Malik's point, the Mavs do not have the same type of supporting cast that the Hawks do. But I think as it stands as it stands right now, I think Trey Young has far more room to grow. I think Luka Doncic as good as he is, I think we're getting very, very close to the cap ceiling in terms of how That's many clear. points Per, per season, he might average, or, or you see, you guys see what I'm saying? I think Trey Young still has another step to get to as I a scorer. I, I think I he's always going to be a fantastic passer, but I think what it's all said and done, the best of Trey Young that we're going to see is a very similar. That, the reason why I'm so excited about Trey Young, and, and Dom will tell you this since high school, I love Trey Young because when I see Trey Young, I see a very similar version to a Steve Nash type where he can score. Uh, from a multitude of different ways, that's a fantastic shot, and will give you 10, 11 assists tonight. I could see Luca, uh, excuse me, I could see Trey Young winning an MVP, scoring somewhere between 30 points a night with 10 assists. That type of player, and I think that by then it will be proper to fully break down, you know, whether or not who who really had the edge. As it stands right now, absolutely the Mavs have the slight edge because right now Luca is the better player. But when we look at how far both organizations have gotten, both organizations capped out at their at their respective conferences finals both organizations capped out at the respective conferences finals because their best player Luka Doncic and Trey Young elevated their squads to that point both players um in the past couple of years have had seasons where they sort of stepped up their game and and put their team back into the back into the spotlight as a contender in their respective conferences so yes um as it stands right now, the Mavs might be these might be the winners, but it's not that big. And I think that their uh, career paths right now are very, very similar when we really look at it. And I both think that, uh, you know, they're they're very close in their rankings and, and how they've turned out. Trey, I agree with you. I think it's been underwhelming. And I'm, I'm shocked that you and I are agreeing, but I think it's a little bit been underwhelming, to be honest oh. with you. I mean, you look at the Hawks a little bit, You you ex- like you, the expectation even next year should be like this Hawks team, when I look at them, they're more than capable of coming out of the East. They are they are a very talented team, regardless of what people may think. This team is capable of coming out of the East. Yes. Yeah. So it's underwhelming to see them not, you know, not be able to maybe make it out of the first round or even to the second. That's the that's the underwhelming part. I think that if the Mavs, and I think that's our next topic, actually, which is a good segue. Yep. If the Mavs do right 
by Luka Doncic, I think that they could be a staple and they could absolutely thrive. And well, I well, let's talk about that. The, the yeah. mask, which is, again, what I'm saying, the parallels, I think we're getting caught up in, oh, Luka is amazing. When we look at this trade and look at these two teams, I think they're in the same spot. I think you're saying that that it's underwhelming from the Hawks' perspective. I don't think so because similar, my criticism of the Mavericks, I think, is, is going to be the same criticism I give of the Atlanta Hawks. Right well, now, that's a projection. Are, that's a projection. That's a projection because right, 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 right. At, yeah. Um, I think that they're getting caught up. I think I think um, similar to the criticism that the Packers get in the NFL, they're getting caught up in what how good Trey Young is, how he sort of um, can make up for some deficiencies that the Hawks have. As good of a supporting cast that the Hawks have, I think the Hawks have a similar uh, issue as the Miami Heat. Those role players play really well, but they can go away. And when they go away, it can be very, very ugly. Just like mm-hmm. we said, Jimmy, you say Jimmy Butler needs another star. I think Trey Young needs another star. And I think Luka Doncic needs another star. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to Jalen Brunson. I don't think Jalen Brunson <laughs> can be that Robin to uh, to Luka Doncic. You see, I think the Hawks are looking at it from the perspective that Clint Capella is that yeah, I, think, I think they think Bogdanovich can be yeah. that person to support Chan. And I don't think he can do that either. So that's why I say the similarities between the two organizations are eerily, eerily similar, both in top tier cities that aren't in LA or a Boston, yeah. but Atlanta's a good city. Dallas is a good city. Both have, I think, young players that play very, very well. Atlanta has that. Dallas has that. But they both need they both need that secondary star that can play along Trey Young, and they both Trey Young will be Doncic, and they both need to be players that can succeed without having to touch the ball a lot. Because yeah. to yeah. Dom's point, both these players will acquire the ball in their hands a lot, yes, a lot. So they both need, um, I think, that that sort of Chris Middleton type player that can play without the ball. 